I feel so lucky I met you and I still Hi Jessica Where are we? We're at our old middle school, our old stomping ground. I know. We're bringing back so many memories. It's crazy. I remember, like, literally, my dad would drop me off right there, and I would walk through, like, the dumpster area up the stairs. Uh, yeah, and to, oh my god, there are people in there. I see some little balloons. And then we, that would be like, oh, the wait, yeah, I see someone in there. Maybe it's like weekend school or something. Oh, anyways. So, yeah, this is uh, where we would, like, line up to wait in the morning to go to class. And then do you remember when they would like blow the whistle to have us stop talking? <laughs> and then they would announce on the microphone when we were able to go up. Don't remember that. Wait, what? I would always be eating like breakfast in there. Yeah, this is crazy. We're so old. I know, so old. <laughs> and then that's the playground. We like, we would be let out for recess here. Yeah. Um, to play like tag and stuff. That's where we met, like in the school, we met here. You and me? Yeah. Oh, I was like, I was like, who's we? I don't even remember like what our first conversation was. Me neither. But I met you in seventh grade. Yeah. We were, we were in seventh yeah. grade together. I want to know so bad. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it was anything crazy, you know? Like back then, like everyone was friends with everyone, you know? Yeah. Hi guys, I'm currently walking home. Um, today was my last shift on my elective rotation and I'm so sad to be leaving. This is literally probably my most favorite rotation out of all of them and um, I'm gonna miss them. I think the residents that I worked with, they really, really made me feel like so welcomed and to say the least, they were probably like my second family for the last six weeks that I've been there. So I'm really grateful that I got to work with them and it was honestly like so full circle too because the first resident that I ever worked with when I started internal medicine, she um, ended up working with me today because she was starting her ID rotation and she was the one who taught me how to orally present cases and um, it's just like so crazy because now I've come such a long way like I am no longer as scared as I was to present cases as I was before and I think it was just like nice for her to see how much her I guess like teaching has helped me and like how much I've grown as a student so it was just really nice and then when I left she gave me a hug and I'm just gonna miss all of the residents there I think they're so nice and they all truly love to teach which honestly is a great thing for a student because I will take whatever I can hi guys so today was the first day of my surgical rotation and it was honestly not what I expected. I was supposed to be on the green team, which is general surgery, but I ended up being put with trauma today. So today we responded to two traumas. Both of them were motor vehicle accidents. One was like a pedestrian being hit, one was someone sitting in the car. And then um, we went to see a chest tube being pulled out. And that was pretty much the most exciting parts of my day. On Wednesday, I'm supposed to be going over to general surgery, so hopefully I get to scrub in because that's what I'm here for. Finally found my car. Such a long walk. Hi everyone, um, I just got out of the hospital. I'm going home now. Scrubbed into two surgeries today, got to close up. And so I feel like it's a new experience. Um, also the stitches you do in the OR are different than what you're doing. Like let's say if you're in the emergency room and you're stitching up someone who has like a cut. Um, and the reason why it's different is because a lot of these sutures you don't want to be seen. And so you have to do them buried so they're underneath the skin. I'm eating because I didn't eat breakfast slash lunch until 12 today. I didn't know that I was gonna be stuck in a case from 7.30 to 12.30. And so, yeah, I'll basically standing there on an empty stomach. Um, but now I'm gonna go home and my feet and my back are shot, like literally broken. I just wanna stretch for 30 minutes when I get home. Honestly, that's probably what I'll do because I don't even have energy to do anything else. Let's go home because I'm so tired. Even the dark, they still see light.
Hi guys, I just got back from the hospital and kind of just wanted to do like an update on how it's been so far and like what I've seen. So my schedule is 12 hour shifts, five days a week. And then it's an hour away for me. So it's like extra traveling as well. So it's been hard because of that. Honestly, like I've seen a lot of cool stuff in the surgeries and I will say it's like physically taxing, but I enjoy what I'm seeing and I enjoy like doing things. Um, so today I scrubbed into a laparoscopic cholecystectomy which is the removal of a gallbladder and then also I helped remove a JP drain which is a Jackson Pratt drain I'm pretty sure and essentially what it is it's like a grenade looking drain that goes into a place that you had surgery and the reason they put that there is so that it can like suck out any fluids that builds up after a surgery so I did that and then they didn't really have that many surgeries planned today so we were just sitting there there were no new like consults to see nothing like that yesterday I assisted in a robotic hernia repair and I helped close like the last stitch which was really exciting I just feel like working out today because I haven't done it in a while so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm also itching the like seven mosquito bites I got on 4th of July so that's that's lovely as well but yeah so far so good I think I think I am trying to be as optimistic as possible since this is my last rotation to really just like take in everything that I can um, it's like be nice to everyone speak to all the residents all the PAs the attendings and you know like sometimes people are gonna ignore you or they just don't care who you are but just know that the two people that care out of uh, the hundred in the hospital just stick to them learn what you can from them and make the best of it because your rotations are for six weeks so or at least mine are. So that's what I like to tell myself when I am like struggling through a point where I think like everyone is just terrible. And I think I will ultimately do like a rotation guide because there's things that I wish I knew before I started rotations. And um, I think it would have set my perspectives into like a more realistic light. Hi guys, I just got home and I'm tired. But my friend Maggie wanted to meet up today for dinner, so um, I'm drinking some coffee right now. That might be a bad idea, but I also want to try to get some studying in because I haven't studied at all since I've started the rotation. And um, I really got to get into that, so maybe this will help. Today is my day off. So this morning I went to the gym and then I went to Sweet Greens to pick up some lunch. So I got crispy rice spring mix. I think I got a hot bowl. So we'll see how that is. I've never tried this bowl before, so I'm not really sure how it'll be. Oh, it comes with bread. Hey, this actually looks really good. I might have a couple of bites of this, but because today is my day off, I'm gonna try to read some of Gastro because it is week two and I'm behind. Like literally, I'm supposed to have all of this done, but I haven't read that yet, so. Hey guys, I thought I would update you because it's like a new thing that I'm going through. I'm currently on my surgery rotation. Usually my schedule is like, 5 a.m. to like 5 p.m. but I'm doing my three overnight shifts today tomorrow and Saturday and I did a couple of like weekend shifts here and there so if you've been following me all along my rotation journey you would know that I've never had like a full overnight before I've had two weeks of overnights in OBGYN but they always sent us home I would say like the latest like one a.m. and that was also at a hospital that was like fairly close to home so i wasn't super worried um this place is a little bit of a farther drive and i heard that my preceptor usually likes to keep the students 
for the full 12 hours. So we're gonna see how that goes. My friend Maggie has been trying to get me to like switch over to the overnight clock time frames, meaning she's been trying to keep me up like later, but my body just continues to wake me up at 5 30, 6 o'clock. And so I've been up since that time. I was just like trying to take a nap before because I'm gonna leave my house at 4. I'm supposed to get to the hospital at 6, but there's gonna be a lot of traffic. And so I just like I'm leaving with extra time. And then I was trying to sleep, but it's really bright out as you guys can see from like the camera. So I used like my eye mask and I think I fell asleep for maybe 20 minutes. We're gonna see, I'm, I'm going to go in with some, well, I'm drinking coffee right now. And then I made like a dirty matcha for later if I want. They do have coffee at the hospital. So if, if I really need it, I'll just get another cup, but I don't, want to rely on caffeine. Aside from that, I don't really know what else I'm gonna be doing because I think I'm gonna be on the floors. They usually don't have cases late in the day unless like a surgeon really needs to do something during the day. Um, all right, I'm gonna hold this energy in and just be calm for now. I will update you guys later if anything else exciting happens. All right guys, it's currently two in the morning. I'm going home now. Um, I did some notes. I also rounded on all the patients, helped with a Foley and like irrigating a Foley. I don't know why, but I'm like kind of hungry right now, which is really weird. Um, I'm trying to go home, get some sleep. Hello everyone. Um, I just woke up from a nap. It's Saturday today. I was supposed to do my third overnight shift but my preceptor i guess he really liked me for the last two days when i did my overnights and so he told me i did not have to go in today which i honestly like bless him because i am so tired i don't know if you can tell um but yesterday was the second day i'm just gonna get ready um while i talk to you guys because multitasking and um i have to get ready for a birthday dinner today yesterday was like a really crazy day. The first overnight was kind of calm. It was mostly just like floor work. Um, PA that I was working with, he was on trauma. He was covering like the trauma patients that were already admitted on the floor. And then also he was covering for urology. Same thing happened on uh, Friday night, but yesterday there were two traumas called around, I want to say like nine. These two people were involved in a motorbike accident, weren't wearing helmets. I believe they got hit by a car, so they went flying and um, it was not good, but I believe they're both stable now. Um, one of the patients had to be intubated. Guys, if you take anything from this video, wear your helmet if you're ever gonna go on a motorbike of some sort. I just started using this product. It's the Milk Makeup um, Sunshine Skin Tint. And I really like it. I like the texture of it and it looks really natural on the skin. Um, although my skin has been very nice to me probably because during my surgery rotation, I haven't been wearing makeup at all at the hospitals. Like most of the time I'm just in the OR. Yeah, so that was yesterday and then we didn't round on our patients until maybe 10 30. um so we had like a list of like 20 patients to go see and then after you round on your patients we had two new consults to go see the pa had me go see um one of the consults on my own and then i went with him to the emergency room to see another one and then after that um went back to the room to write our notes that was like pretty much done the night and that's really how overnight goes like you just do all of your work and then you're on call for the rest of the night so if his phone goes off for someone consulting him or there's like an issue with the patient that he's already taken care of that's when he would go and see them and get things rolling other than that, not much else to do. And because everyone is should be sleeping at that time, it's fairly quiet. I will say that like night 
shift is a different vibe because of how quiet it is and it should be because everyone should be getting rest at some point so yeah if you like really don't like talking to people i think night shift might be a good option for you um it was it's different i don't hate it but i also like don't really know if i love it that much because i'm i'm just not a night person and i i like really thrive in the morning despite how early like i have to get there for a morning shift but yeah i'm much more of a morning person so i wanted to vlog yesterday i think i was just like so tired and wanted to get home that i just you know didn't also the second season of the summer i turned pretty came out and my sister and I binge watched it yesterday. I don't know how, because I was probably, I mean, I was supposed to be napping and I just didn't. It's probably why I'm so tired. You know how people are always like, I can't film and talk at the same time and do like my mascara or my eyebrows? Didn't fully understand that until right now. 